Most of us, or maybe every one of us, must have heard the story of the stranger on the street who looks just like us and tells us we have a doppelganger. But can you imagine being told that you can create your twin with an exact copy of yourself, but the one that can live a purely digital life? Our cities, automobiles, houses, and even our own identities have all been digitally recreated in the era we now live in. Because of this, the idea of a virtual or digital universe where one's digital twin may travel freely has become a hot topic in the IT sector, much like the metaverse. So let's take a look at why you may want to start thinking about getting a digital twin in the nearest future. But before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Without further ado, let's get started. A digital twin is an identical clone of anything that exists in the actual world, but it has a specific job, which is to assist in the improvement of, or to offer feedback in some other manner to, the version that exists in the physical world. Artificial intelligence, or AI, and the Internet of Things, which uses sensors to connect physical things to the network, have made it possible to now build something digitally that is constantly learning from and helping improve the real counterpart. Initially, such twins were just sophisticated 3D computer models, but AI and the Internet of Things have made this possibility a reality. Rob Enderl, a technology expert, predicts that by the end of the decade, we will have the ability to create digital twins of humans that are capable of independent thought. The development of these will need a significant amount of thought and ethical deliberation, he says, since a thinking clone of ourselves may be of incredible use to employers. What would happen if your employer were to build a digital duplicate of you, then tell you, hey, you've got this digital twin that we pay no money to, so why are we still hiring you if they did that? Mr. Enderl believes that one of the most significant concerns that will arise in the next period of the metaverse will be over ownership of digital twins of this kind. We have already embarked down the path of human twinning in the form of the avatars that were discussed above. However, they are somewhat cumbersome and undeveloped at the moment. Horizon Worlds, a virtual reality platform developed by Meta, which was formerly known as Facebook, is an example of a place where you might be able to give your avatar a face that is similar to your own, but you won't even be able to give it legs just yet because the technology is in such an early stage. Professor Sandra Wachter, a senior research fellow in artificial intelligence at Oxford University, recognizes the lure of developing digital twins of people because it is evocative of thrilling science fiction stories, and at the moment, that is the stage where it is at. She goes on to say that regardless of whether you will have academic success in law school, whether you will get unwell, or whether you will commit a crime, all of these things will rely on how you answer the nature against nurture issue. Whether they have good or poor luck, friends, family, their socioeconomic background and environment, and of course their personal decisions, will all be factors in determining the results. She says that artificial intelligence is not yet very adept at forecasting occurrences like these single instances of social interaction on account of the intrinsic complexity of these situations. As a result, we have a long way to go before we can grasp and model the whole of a person's existence, even if this is ever even somewhat achievable. Instead, the most advanced and widespread usage of digital twins may be found in the sectors of product design, distribution, and urban planning at present. Both the McLaren and the Red Bull teams in Formula One racing employ digital twins of their respective race vehicles. In the meanwhile, the global logistics powerhouse DHL is developing a digital map of its warehouses and supply routes to improve its operational efficacy. And more and more of our cities are being recreated in the digital space. Shanghai and Singapore both have digital twins, which were put up to assist in improving the design and management of buildings, transportation systems, and streets. One of the responsibilities of Singapore's digital twin is to assist in the discovery of novel routes that guide people away from polluted sections of the city. 
In certain locations, the technique is used to provide recommendations for where new infrastructure, such as subterranean lines, should be constructed. Also, new cities in the Middle East are being constructed in both the actual world and the digital world at the same time. Dassault Systems, a French software corporation, reports that it is now receiving demand from thousands of businesses for its digital twins technology. To this point, the company's work has included the use of digital twins to assist a hair care company in digitally designing more sustainable shampoo bottles. This was done in place of endless real-life prototyping. This results in a waste reduction. Additionally, it makes it possible for other companies to build new future products, such as jetpacks, motorcycles with floating wheels, flying buses, and even flying cars. In addition, each has a physical prototype, but the development of the refined version of the first model takes place in the digital space. However, the healthcare industry is where digital twins have shown their greatest potential for value. The Living Heart Project at Dassault Systems has developed a realistic virtual model of the human heart that is capable of being tested and analyzed. This model enables surgeons to play out some what-if scenarios for the organ, utilizing a variety of treatments and medical equipment. Dr. Steve Levine, the project's founder, wanted to develop a digital twin for some reasons, including some that were more personal in nature. Because his daughter was born with congenital heart disease, he made the decision a few years ago, when she was in her late 20s and at a high risk for heart failure, to reconstruct his daughter's heart using virtual reality technology. At the Great Ormond Street Hospital in London, a team of engineers is working with clinicians to test devices that may help children who suffer from rare and difficult to treat heart conditions. At the Boston Children's Hospital, this technology is currently being used to map out the actual heart conditions of patients. Experimenting on a digital heart also has the knock-on effect of reducing the need to test on animals, which is one of the more contentious aspects of scientific research. According to Severine Trouillet, Global Affairs Director at Dassault Systems. This is one of the benefits that come as a knock-on effect of conducting experiments on a digital heart. The company is now working on developing digital twins of more organs, such as the eye and possibly the brain. According to Ms. Trouillet, at some time in the future, we will all have a digital twin. This will allow you to go to the doctor and we can gradually produce preventive medication and we can make sure that every treatment is personalized. The race to develop a digital representation of our whole globe is maybe an endeavor that is even more audacious than the attempt to replicate human organs. NVIDIA, a software company based in the United States, operates a platform known as Omniverse, which is intended to construct virtual worlds and digital twins. One of the most audacious goals is to create a digital duplicate of the Earth by photographing its whole surface in high detail. This is one of its most ambitious projects. The project, which has been given the name Earth 2, will make use of a mix of deep learning models and neural networks to simulate real settings in the digital domain and come up with answers to the problem of climate change. In March of this year, the European Commission unveiled its plans to create a digital duplicate of the globe that would be given the name Destination Earth. These plans were made in partnership with the European Space Agency and other organizations. It is hoped that by the end of the year 2024, sufficient data will have been collected from real-time observation and simulations to create a digital twin that will concentrate on natural disasters such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and heat waves, as well as floods and droughts, and provide countries with actionable plans to save lives in the face of these growing challenges. Well, that's all for today, guys. Let us know your thoughts about having a digital twin that can think as you do in the comments section. Also, do well to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and smash that bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.